we will analyze here uh, another group of uh, volcanic jasper uh, that we call massive jasper and uh, we see that uh, volcanic jasper are the result of uh, alteration and kind of pseudomorphos uh, above uh, uh, volcanic rock and mostly above uh, volcanic glass so um, in the classification based on precursors of jasper origin um, three group uh, are pseudomorph of old um, uh, hard material in the case of oceanic jasper we see that the material was opal organogenic opal uh, in jasper on fossil are pseudomorph on fossil and chemical jasper are uh, just pre pre precipitation from solutions so uh, this is the uh, geological situation of volcanic jasper we are mostly in um, big volcanic complex of uh, rhyolitic uh, uh, composition and uh, most of them um, present a caldera uh, uh, in the middle and this complex are mm, typically uh, very big and have a uh, huge uh, geothermal gradient so there is a lot of temperature that is able to uh, make circulation of hydrothermal solution and uh, most of volcan uh, of metallic ore body are uh, uh, made in this uh, kind of place so um, we see there is three group uh, and we are in this group uh, where uh, the condition are uh, peculiar so we see that there is three variable if the precursor rock uh, of the jasper is a tuff of a lava and this in in this case is mostly a tuff the alteration is hot or cold uh, in the former stratiform jasper the alteration is uh, cold but here is hot because of the presence of uh, fumarole and the alteration is subaerial or submarine mm, mostly the alteration is subaerial but uh, also submarine is possible so in this case as all the volcanic jasper we see that the uh, uh, glass uh, they vitrificate and transform in opal uh, a, a kind of gel opal and the opal can transform in jasper or just uh, harden like this okay this is the appearance of massive jasper and um, most of them are uh, in blocky with angular shape and usually polygonal not uh, squared but with five or more uh, mm, face and uh, um, the pattern is along fracture and there is many fracture without a um, preferential one preferential direction so uh, any direction and uh, the color mm, spread from the center of the fracture and uh, in concentric halo um, toward the center of the uh, polygonal uh, block uh, this is another specimen of the same norina jasper from australia this is one of the more famous of this kind of jasper and we see that mm, there is a different color but the same mm, uh, pattern along the fracture another jasper with similar structure is pilbara jasper also from australia and here uh, we see there is more line but all the color is concentrated along the fracture and uh, the background is black okay this is the situation we are uh, around uh, fumarolic uh, uh, activity the silica rich uh, gases cause uh, uh, colonization of the rock uh, and then transformation in opal opalization so later the uh, opal transform into jasper or not there is many cases of opal mm, opaline deposit uh, formed in this way so this is an, uh, another kind of uh, this kind of jasper called exotica is one of the rare jasper with purple color 
uh, we see the pattern along fracture but also we can see the original stratification of the tuff and this uh, bedding mm, primary bedding uh, uh, is cause of change of porosity and the change of porosity uh, cause a different uh, uh, wetting by the solution so the solution entered in different way or with different velocity inside the tuff and give different pattern and different color and here there is another uh, stone it's not a uh, very silicified uh, jasper for this reason they call stone but mm, it's also uh, with uh, an original primary stratification of the tuff with concentric ring of colors and these rings of iron oxidation is characteristic of any porous rock in this case we have a granite this is very low porosity rock uh, any joint uh, drain the water the water enter in the joint in the fracture and uh, slowly uh, permeate uh, enter in the rock and leave a uh, halo of oxidation so if the por porosity is more there, there will be more complex ring structure but is always concentric inside the uh, the joint uh, they call uh, sometimes lisegang ring this kind of structure but it's not a really correct uh, definition and this is a better outcrop of a similar uh, concept uh, we are in the Budi National Park in Australia and this is an excellent example of uh, this kind of ring that are all concentric and just determined by the fractures another excellent place for see this is Maria Island this is uh, near Tasmania and this is a wonderful example of this kind of red and yellow ring okay this in United States uh, uh, this kind of jasper is called icorite and uh, is polygonal block with ring just the porosity is responsible for the shape of the ring and we see just uh, a small little fracture can determine a changement in the shape of the ring this is another example with a fracture that drain water and change the geometry this is the more famous deposit of icorate from Nevada so uh, now we, we see that uh, the the ring or the structure uh, formed by uh, the oxidation of iron we just see in the previous chapter uh, about the stratiform jasp jasper so what is the difference in the case of stratiform jasper and in the case of massive jasper mm, why the, uh, there is a so different structure and shape of this halo of uh, oxidized iron and uh, with different color so we hypothesize that the difference is that in stratiform jasper there is the uh, action of bacteria uh, iron bacteria uh, that are responsible to uh, accelerate a natural reaction that is uh, uh, working here in the massive jasper so we see that in stratiform jasper uh, there is a, a redox line between uh, two solutions one uh, bringing water that come from upside and one bringing iron that come from the base and uh, uh, here uh, there is a probably a colony of bacteria that make a biofilm of bacteria that give this strange shape to to the to the oxidized uh, reduction line in the case of massive jasper there is not uh, a living bacteria so uh, just the porosity is responsible for the oxidation and uh, the ring are uh, absolutely concentric 
with, without any uh, alteration except from the fractals so the change of porosity so we, we analyze here the difference and uh, um, we uh, we realize also the difference in color but this is the color typical of uh, um, bacteria uh, the is a, mm, a kind of carpet of filament bacteria and they uh, form uh, this biofilm inside the rock and this is the color uh, where uh, we can see uh, this kind of bacteria living in the pond uh, of uh, dirty water rich in iron and also always there is this kind of color but we know that mm, iron colors oxidized iron color is more obviously uh, red and uh, orange and, and yellow so uh, mm, also there is other uh, clear difference we just analyzed the um, the blocks are in both case angular but in the case of stratum stratum jasper they are more squared because is fracturing of a, a small uh, thin bed but in the case of massive jasper is uh, more polygonal because is the fracturing of more thick bed also mm, the tough in massive jasper can be coarser mm, because we are near the vent of the volcano mm, it's not this case but it can be coarse uh, in the case of stratiform is fine because it's distal and uh, also the temperature is low here and for this reason bacteria can survive and proliferate, uh, but uh, the presence of high temperature uh, near the fumarole activity is responsible to uh, to die the, the bacteria because uh, uh, this kind of bacteria uh, do not uh, like so much uh, uh, hot water, and also the presence of oxygen. That here we are in subaerial environment and uh, probably there is too much oxygen for bacteria but here uh, is the perfect ambient for this kind of bacteria because there is uh, low uh, oxygen presence so um, this is the two end member of the same process because uh, we know that a tough can be proximal uh, with this aspect uh, near the volcano and in distal deposit we can have this process so there will, will be always an intermediate uh, uh, deposit that uh, show uh, mm, example of both so for this reason it's to imp so important to understand the, the difference and the similarity of the two uh, kind of deposit okay and this is uh, why um, some uh, deposit have uh, um, a nopalization and uh, opalization is an intermediate process so um, we can find many deposits of opal in volcanic area that have very similar pattern of uh, massive jasper with concentric uh, banding uh, ox oxid oxidized iron so this is an opal from Milos Island in Greece that is a volcanic island very uh, full of uh, different kind of uh, volcanic jaspers. Uh, and this is uh, very near to this deposit uh, an outcrop of Nyais so a very different rock that is completely opa opalized so uh, the effect of the fumarole is so strong uh, on the rock that is uh, doesn't matter what kind of rock is uh, it is a rhyolitic tuff or a nice and uh, the, the opalization is so deep that any rock in inside the, the circle in around the, the fumarole is possible to transform in, in opal so this is possible the origin of a, a kind of agate called agate but it's a jasper uh, plasma agate is found in, in California where in California where it's pretty famous and this uh, uh, a jasper that is uh, the aspect of uh, serpentine so uh, uh, 
green rock very similar to the nice and is also in this case is completely cisified so uh, is mm, quite possible that the origin is the same so opalization of uh, a serpentine deposit mm, from a fumarole activity and uh, where not only tough deposits are altered but also the surrounding rock okay this is another kind of uh, icorite but in this case uh, there is also a fracture pattern but is a very nice material from Nevada this another uh, ro similar rock that is called won Wonderstone and uh, it show also a primary uh, lamination of the tuff and uh, uh, also there is a fracturation but in this case is oriented fra fracturation that is probably mm, before of the silicification and this uh, this kind of very tiny fracturing is probably by load so there is a tiny laminated tuff that is overload by more heavy deposit that make this uh, fracturation by the weight that arrive above and this is the the real wonderstone from utah salina wonderstone that uh, look uh, show uh, squared polygon and there is uh, in the middle always a black area that is probably rich in manganese also a black uh, area is found in this Navajo splash jasper from Mexico that they have also mm, a mix of pattern uh, along fracture and uh, in ring so um, we we have seen that uh, stratified jasper and uh, massive jasper are uh, continuing with uh, uh, two end member but uh, there is the possibility to uh, have some jasper with intermediate uh, case so th this is for example one jasper one piece of jasper that if mm, a pattern of dune typical of stratiform jasper but uh, with a fracture that drain solution and make some pattern along the fracture and here there is a normal ring uh, structural uh, shape the color is is tan so more by mm, bacteria but uh, s not all the depo uh, deposit all the all the stone have the same dune pattern in some case is just drained by by fracture and by porosity uh, this is a typical example of uh, what I'm telling uh, a mix of two uh, an intermediate uh, deposit so the Hawaii Jasper have a dune structure along the border but uh, a lot of uh, the, the pattern is along fracture in this case also we can see that uh, there is a pattern that is along uh, many line parallel together that is uh, probably depending on original mm, lamination of the tuff but in this case is just fracture and this is a good slab of our jasper so this is mm, pattern along fracture uh, like massive jasper and this is the lower portion of mm, black uh, reduced uh, iron typical of stratified jasper and with some dune here typical of stratified jasper that pass in ring typical of massive jasper so probably the the bacteria here was not so important and the thickness uh, of the deposit was enough big to have uh, more intense fracturation So this is also a uh, nice cabochon of, of the Hawaii Jasper with a very complicated mm, pattern but also there is 
some color that are not so typical of bacteria. And another uh, structure typical of this kind of jasper is uh, dendrite. Dendrite grow uh, on the top of the hill of the dune pattern. Uh, this is an Apache Canyon jasper. This is another Hawaii. And uh, they are three dimensional dendrite. Uh, most dendrites are uh, a phenomenon that uh, form in fracture of the rock and uh, is fracture filling. Manganese uh, fill the fracture and is after the hardening of the stone. But in this case, uh, the dendrites are three dimensional, so are growing when the jasper was uh, soft. This another uh, Apache Canyon jasper with uh, some dune with uh, the three-dimensional dendrite on top. And this demonstrates that mm, there is an intermediate phase uh, when all the jasper or the opal precursor was uh, in, in a soft uh, uh, state. This another Apache Canyon jasper we see along the border some dune structure with uh, dendrite but in the center there is just ring so here only the uh, mm, the porosity of the rock is important for give the shape and the structure but uh, near the, the the edge of the block there is a bacteria uh, contamination This is another material quite new from Mexico. It's called dendritic rhyolite. Uh, it's a typical massive jasper with a concentric circle, but with very nice dendrite that grow from the fracture. Also three-dimensional dendrite. So resuming, uh, the, the com geological context uh, for massive jasper is uh, near the volcano. Uh, uh, alteration of uh, rheolitic tuff and is the end member of uh, a continuum uh, from the distal deposit of stratiform jasper and uh, we have intermediate uh, deposit that can be here where uh, it's not so hot but deposits are thick enough to have some of both some structure of both the, the deposit. So here we are near the fumarola activity, so the, the structure uh, indicate uh, temperature. For this reason, we are near the volcano. Uh, the fracturation is in polygonal block because of the thickness of the tuff and uh, mm, uh, uh, the difference with stratiform jasper that is the broken of uh, a small uh, bed get that give more and more squared block. Um, the pattern is due to the fracture system with concentric ring. So the color are revealed color and uh, red and yellow uh, respect uh, stratiform jasper that are more uh, brown and tan color. It's common to find three dimensional dendrite and uh, they cannot be nodular. Uh, this is because um, they are probably mostly subaerial. For this reason, there is no uh, possibility to make nodular. We see that in stratiform jasper, there is the possibility to make boudinage and the fluid migration to make nodule in some part of the deposit. But here, because of the thickness and because we are in subaerial deposit, mm, there is no boudinage and not the presence of nodule. So all the massive jasper are uh, the result of big mm, uh, thickness uh, alteration of tuff. Uh, 